Let's welcome back an old friend. He's been here before. Kirk Nolan is here this morning. How's life been treating you since the last time we talked? Good. I'm a, I'm a little depressed. And why? I, I, well, I'll tell you why. I'm watching Ripley's Believe It or Not the other day, and the lady had. Have you seen this show? No, yeah, sure. Show, yeah. And they have Gene. all this weird stuff. Yeah, they had this Superman guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. they had this lady on who has a cat who can eat with chopsticks. He's trying to just spit up. <laughs> I'm drinking. I'm not making this up. A cat actually (coughs) sat at the dinner table and ate Chinese food with chopsticks, and I'm sitting there watching it, depressed, thinking, I can't eat with chopsticks. How far on the evolutionary scale am I when a cat can out eat me with chopsticks? I've been thinking this over. I mean, it's pretty much me, a cat, and Planet of the Apes because that's where we're at. I have a hard time eating with a fork and a spoon, for God's sakes. A cat is out eating me. Wait till the night when they show the episode of the dog cooking I'm the meal. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> oh, you're really screwed. And I'm telling you right now, that's why Chinese people eat cats. Because they have figured out that they're about ready to take over the planet. Hey, hey, hey chopsticks is just one point away from holding a Glock, my friend. All right? <laughs> Oh, that's sense. funny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, all they need to do is evolve the thumbs and we're done, all right? <laughs> that's right. You'll be walking in and the cat will have the remote control and the Glock in the other hand going, who's going in the litter box today, smart boy? <laughs>